Well, nearly $2 billion will be spent on flowers this Valentine's Day, but there are some ways to make those grocery store stems look like they're from a florist. Joining us with some ideas is lifestyle contributor Victoria Sophia. Victoria, good to see you. Good morning, everyone. So, you know, the first thing I say is just walk into that, that uh, supermarket and find flowers that are not the ones that look like they've mixed everything in together. Find a bunch that's, you know, something that you can do with a color scheme. So that way you can make sure that it looks elevated. You can make sure that it's something that looks like it's really costing you a lot more than you really have spent. The greatest way to do that is if you only have the option of a mixed bouquet is to take those apart and separate them. Otherwise, get the ones that are colored that you actually think that the person would love. So I have an arrangement of lilac ones here. You can see these that I've done. Um, and then also the next thing is to pick a vase or a vase, however you call it, that isn't ordinary. So you can use a water jug, something like this, or, you know, if you have a grandma that has really nice crystal and you're doing something for her, you can work with that um, or, or a different colored vase. That's a great one too. Once you get your flowers, you want to take the leaves all off because the leaves are the ones that get the most water first. Those, the, you know, the idea is to make sure that your flowers get the water, not the leaves. So then you just start it. I'm going to use a small little vase because this is, you know, something that I feel like this would be perfect for today. You put the flowers in. It's really simple to do something like this. Do the arrangement the way that you like. Make sure you take all the leaves off first so it's easy to strip them. You'll just want like a kitchen knife that you might have in your home or if you have kitchen scissors this is a great way to just use those also it's very easy to just make sure you pull them off like this and then arrange them so that you have the ability to get your flowers in perfectly and if you have greenery in the store you pick up greenery and it'll make it look a lot bigger than what you're doing <laughs> i love that yeah, that's pretty cool Looks and so you just fancy. keep going and around and around very nice. So what, what flowers last the longest? So you want to get chrys chrysanthemums or carnations or lilies or orchids. Those are the best ones to get because they'll last anywhere between, you know, a week to two weeks. Okay. Um, unfor unfortunately, the ones that don't last the longest are sunflowers and daisies. So you don't want to opt for those if you have an option. You want to skip those. That's good to know. <laughs> and what do you do with any of the leftovers or the broken stems? Can you save those? So yeah you absolutely can because you see i'm using a small vase today but there's also like little bud vases that you might have around your house sometimes i have little glass yogurt jars i wash out and put things in so we're going to take some carnations you see that i have here strip it and then you'll be able to use them in your home in various other places so maybe at the top of your table setting um, if you possibly do them for the bathroom area, you can put them in a smaller little vase. And that way you don't feel like you've broken any stems or leaves and you can't use them. You can actually find a use depending on what other size vases that you have in your house. Very cool. Appreciate all of that. If people want to find out more about, you know, all of your tips and tricks, where can they find you? They can go to happilyevervictoria.com to find out more information. Great.